guys, KB's here, and uh, happy October! Um, I'm so excited, it's my favorite month of the year for many reasons, Halloween and just, you know, Inktober, which uh, started today, uh, which I am participating in this year. Uh, this is actually my third Inktober um, that I'm participating in. Um, my first one was two years ago, and I drew reptiles all month, and then last year I drew Pokemon. Um, so this one doesn't have a set theme in terms of subject matter. I kind of figured out a whole bunch of random things I'd like to draw. And, um, yeah, I kind of decided to do this last minute, like almost literally last minute. I think I decided at about 11.30 last night that I was going to do Inktober. I originally wasn't going to because I do have my drawing prompts book that I'm sketching in every day. Um, and I was originally just going to count that as Inktober and just do all of those October prompts in ink. Um, but then I saw people online getting really excited for it and I've been really like work- I've really been enjoying working with ink in my ink wash lately and I was like, you know what? I think I'm just going to do it. Um, so yeah, I, did, I figured out some prompts last night and while I was figuring out my prompts and, and using- I used a random number generator to figure out the order so it would be a bit more of a surprise. Um, and while I was setting that up, I was looking at all these ideas I had and I was really excited for them and I'm thinking- I was thinking I should record some of these. But then I couldn't decide which ones to record for videos and I was like, you know what? I could just record all of them. Um, so that's what I'm doing, or at least that's what I'm going to attempt to do. I don't know how well I'm going to be able to keep up with it, but I'm turning this Inktober challenge into a daily video challenge as well. Because I'm insane. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So here's day one, and I, I realized that I had a video go up earlier this morning that I recorded last week, so you guys are getting two videos today. Um, and then, um, every video for the rest of October will go up, you know, sometime in the late evening, at least for my time, I'm um, Eastern Standard Time, so, because I obviously have to draw and edit and upload the same day, so it'll be an interesting experiment, I guess. So yeah, so here's the first one. Um, so my first prompt was Ghostbusters, and I wrote that prompt down knowing that I would draw Jillian Holtzman, because I've been meaning to draw Holtzman for ever. Pretty much as soon as I saw the movie, I knew I wanted to draw her, and I hadn't really gotten around to doing it, so finally did. And Holtzman, for me, was like the best part of the movie. I, I really enjoyed the new Ghostbusters, and I'm a fan of the original Ghostbusters as well, but I, I also really enjoyed this movie. So, um, and yeah, Holtzman was the best part, in my opinion, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> my girlfriend would laugh at me because I've been saying how gay I am for Holtzman ever since the movie came out. Um, and I really am. Like, she, she, um, she was a lot of fun and, um, it was really cool to see, um, a character like her in a movie because usually when a lesbian character is in a movie, um, and, and they have confirmed that this character is a lesbian, they just couldn't say it in the movie. Um, usually when a lesbian character is in a movie, they're usually like a really traditional feminine pretty woman or a butch a lesbian and while Kate McKinnon is very pretty um, her character was sort of wasn't really like that traditional femme you know lesbian she was the weird lesbian like the weird nerdy lesbian which was so amazing to see because that's what I am <laughs> so it's like hey she's a nerd like me that's awesome um, so so that was really cool and she had the best lines and everything so yeah, I finally got to draw her, and um, I did my lines with my Pentel Pocket Brush pen. I used a Copic liner to do the glasses because I have a really hard time drawing glasses for some reason, and they still kind of turned out a little wonky, but any kind of like really um, symmetrical, rigid, I guess, ge slightly geometric design, I have a hard time getting really well, so um, I did okay, but... Yeah, not 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 too happy with that, but whatever. Um, and then I did the uh, all of the toning with watered down Higgins India ink that I set up in a palette about two weeks ago. And then of course I had to add a little bit of yellow to the glasses. So it's not purely an ink drawing, but I needed to do the yellow with my um with my watercolors. And then here I'm just doing little bits of highlights and texturing with um, 
some white ink. I got the Copic Opaque White recently because um, I thought it might function a little better than my gel pen sometimes and it was kind of fun. Um, I did this on mixed media paper by the way and most of my Inktober drawings are going to be on the, on the smaller mixed media paper. Um, I have a few planned out that are going to be a little bit larger but you'll have to wait to see what those are. Um, if you do want a sneak peek at my prompts, um, they're on my Instagram and my Tumblr and my Twitter and all of the pictures are going to go up on those three websites um, and then I'll have nice scans up on my Tumblr um, at some point. <laughs> I, have to, I have to actually sit down and scan everything all at once. Um, and I do intend to sell these, but none of them are going to go up on sale until the Inktober challenge is over. Because I've already got enough dealing with, uh, you know, recording and editing and all that stuff. So, yeah. So, here's day one, and I like how it turned out. So, uh, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. I'm doing something a little different this week. I have decided to join some other artists I've seen on YouTube and do the Starving Artists tag. So I'm recording this like the day I saw the video, but I'm trying to keep to my weekly schedule. So by the time this goes up, I imagine quite a few people. But I can uh, transfer to get a candy. Yeah, and to up to upgrade the other ones. I got a Pokemon. <laughs> mm. Alicia's gonna treat me to ice cream. <laughs> Yee.